There are about 10,000 cases of melanoma each year in the UK, and 80% is cured by surgery. But if you do have the metastatic malignant form of the disease, then a very poor prog then there's a very poor prognosis with a five-year survival rate of only 5%, and a median survival of about six months. So that means about half of patients who are diagnosed with the disease will be dead within six months. So these two new drugs, vemurafenib and ipilimumab, are the first breakthrough in melanoma treatment for the past 30 years. Um, they are not curative, but they give a significant extension of life in patients. And the important point is, is that they break the paradigm that melanoma rarely is an untreatable disease. In a period of what we call personalized medicine, we know how vemurafenib works and we know which patients will respond. Ipilimumab is a bit more unclear. It works in about 15% of patients, and we don't know how to determine which patients will respond. But there are long-term um, responses in patients, and really the trick now is to learn how to turn those long-term responses into cures. We discovered that a protein called BRAF was mutated, or that's damaged, in about half of the cases of human melanoma. Now, the drug vemurafenib targets that damaged protein and specifically turns it off. So vemurafenib works by inhibiting or targeting the cancer cells themselves. Ipilimumab, on the other hand, works by waking up the, the patient's immune system and getting the immune system then to target the cancer cells. So we have two completely different mechanisms of action. And of course, one of the intriguing uh, questions for the future is whether combining these drugs will improve the outcome in both sets of patients.